This is way too early to be doing this. That would not have happened with the Scout 800. You think we could jump that cliff out yonder? Doesn't that look like good fun? This is not the truck to be taking on this bridge. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. I'm not a happy camper today. I was hoping to go out on a Sunday drive, nice and relaxing, even though it's not Sunday, in my Scout 800, and then I see that my next mission, although it's only a normal difficulty, I'm supposed to take an off-road truck. That means my International Scout 800, or even the Lodestar, they are not the recommended vehicle. I just don't like any of the off-road vehicles. They're cumbersome, not as fun to drive, and they certainly are not as fun to drive off the side of a cliff. But we must uh, we must move our progress along here and complete this today. So I'm gonna set myself up here with a disgusting off-road truck and I'll see you guys on the mission. Over and out. Good buddy. I don't know what other trucker lingo I can throw in there. I'll see you in a minute. I don't love it, but I will say that this paint job, it, it's kind of a vibe. And that's what's important. You have to roll through the Carpathians looking cute. Style is half of it, as well as the style of how you fall off the cliff. And you can judge it later when I send it. I'm sure I will. Let's take a look at the map. And I did pick the correct outpost. Of course, I didn't select the wrong one and have to redo this mission. No, I wouldn't do that. We're going to go this way. If I remember how to mark this, there we go. It's been a while. I've been kind of away playing other games. It's all coming back to me. Don't worry. However, how do you think we should get up that mountain range? Now, I have not used this truck very much. I don't have a whole lot of things unlocked. We're already getting stuck. This is not good. The only good thing about this truck is, number one, it's high. I mean, not like it's been into the gummies or anything. Just, you know, it's, it's high. <laughs> it can handle the water a little bit better. And number two, thanks to its little roof rack and the bed, it can hold lots of goodies. Oh, don't tell me that's what I'm climbing. Is that what I'm climbing? That was really poor planning on my part, for real? It looks so much smaller on the map. We'll go down into the little divot. Up the other side of the divot. I don't know, is this the way we're supposed to go? It looks like it might be the path of least resistance. I'm not happy about it. But we're gonna make it work. So as I was logging into Expeditions this morning, it's been a hot minute since I played. It's probably been a week. Like I said, I've been into other games. Oh, oh no, 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 no. This is way too early to be doing this. There we go. Pull it. Now, where was I with the story? It's not much of a story. But saying that as I logged into Expeditions this morning, after it's been a while since I've played, because I have not been a dedicated Mud Runner gamer, I saw that I'm only 5% finished with the current maps. Cumulative. I find that hard to believe. I feel like I've played a lot. And yet I know some of you, oh, come on, come on. See, that would not have happened with the Scout 800. It would not have happened with a better driver either. Can't be used now. Wait, what? Why can't I use my winch? Because I don't have an autonomous winch? Is that, why? Why are you doing this to me, Tuz? Look at its little sad face. It's doing this just because I was throwing shade on it. Are we gonna have to use an anchor? I am like, I, I don't even, I have no words. I have no words. I have no excuses. I'm just a bad driver. I think I'm gonna have to use one of my jack screws. This is not cool. 
This is not cool at all. Wait a minute. There? Why is everywhere red? Oh, like this. Okay, well, I guess that's... That's the best choice. All right. Drop me down from six feet. Let's go. This is the universe's sign that I should not be playing this today. I chose wrong. I don't even know where I was going with my story. I'm just mad right now. <laughs> it seems like any time I start talking, I just get myself into trouble. Look how stinking top heavy this thing is. It's not because of that rack, is it? I did buy better tires. That I did. Look how stinking unstable this is. You can't tell me that one little rock really would do this to me. I miss driving my scout. Any of the scouts. I miss them. I think I'm having a harder time on this mission than the hard difficulty. <laughs> and it's because of driver error. I know. Anyhow, enough complaining. Let's have some fun. Let's enjoy nature. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of rocks. There's a lot of rocks. I'm a little scared. <gasps> Ooh, that winch saved me. Oh, I know what I was trying to say. It's that some of you are already finished with this entire game. I don't know how you did it. Do you not play anything else? You must not. I would like to finish it. I would like to finish it before they come out with new maps and new content since I did buy the season pass, but I don't think that's going to happen. Just realistically speaking, there's too many other things I like to play. Like Planet Crafter, if you guys like survival games and kind of dig the space theme, it is really relaxing. There's nothing you have to shoot. There's no bad guys. It's just starvation, dehydration, and isolation. I just came up with that right now. But it's a really good game, and it's been out in early access for a couple years. And I played it a little bit, but it just released this past week. Full release, version 1.0, and so I really have been digging into it. And I'm just having so much fun with it. You can play it multiplayer or solo. No driving in it, at least that I've found out so far. So maybe you wouldn't like it, but look how pretty this is. This is pretty. This is pretty. Look at my pretty truck. What does that say? Cliffs? Something. I can't read what the advertisement is on my whip. GPS? I, I don't know. Some sort of outdoor sponsorships, I think. Alright, let's turn off our engine while we're talking here. I think... I think... Oh, we're 81%. Let's get out our drone. No, that's not our drone. That's our drone. I did spring for the operator. I have a Connie with me. You can't see her, but she has blessed me with the ability to fly my drone much higher and much farther. Now that is a bridge that needs to be built, isn't it? I do have spare parts with me, but we'll see. Let's get this mission done first, and we'll see how irritable I am by then. Oh, my favorite song. I needed it. Because I'm not happy with my truck. Sounds like sad music. That's how I feel. I think it's saying, Where's my scout? Where's my scout? You can't unhear it now, right? 800. Ooh, look at that over there. That's pretty. You think we had to build a bridge on that? Or jump it. You think we could jump that cliff out yonder? I would like to try. What are you back here, you little dotted lines? A bridge location? Another one? Stage completed, but wait, I'm not done. That is a bridge we have to monitor, isn't it? Oh, something else over there? That is a bridge we have to build. Doesn't that look like good fun? 
I bet with enough speed we could jump that baby. Especially if we had a lift kit on. <laughs> a little bouncy bounce. Do we have to go over here? What? We do have to go over there. Alrighty then. Well... I don't know if I have enough spare parts to build this. But that looks like the fastest and possibly one of the most fun ways through. Our other option is to go this way and not have to build a bridge. Let's do a little flyby. It's like a drive-by, except I'm just gonna shut up. Never mind. The question is, do we have enough parts to build this bridge if it's a bridge? And if we don't have enough parts, I don't think there's any way we're getting over there. Do we risk it? Do we risk it and try? I guess that's not that far. Let's go up here. And if we don't have enough parts to build the bridge, oh, that's called an avalanche. If we don't have enough parts, then we'll just come back this way. We'll just meander back this way like nothing happened except for wasting some fuel. I've got some extra fuel. That's why I got my pickup. My little pickup bed back here, my little short bed. I got fuel under those tarps. I might have a dead body under there too, you never know. That's why I got them covered. That's why I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Here comes the moment of truth. What do we have to give you? Deliver supplies. Oh, we do have enough. We're going to deliver them. Build me a bridge. Beam me up. Oh, no bridge. No bridge, but it cleared the avalanche. I'm just going to drive right through it. It's getting kind of dark. No problem. No problem for this old girl. Seriously? Damage there? Do you see that lovely little icon? Where are you, you big, beautiful upgrade? Let's get out our binoculars. Can we see anything from here? Upgrade. Upgrade location discovered. Can we see it on our map? Wait a minute, it's right in front of us? What? Where well, there's a whip here. Oh, dear. Oh, it's right here. Get upgrade. I didn't see this. We're getting an upgrade. I'm all about the upgrades. What'd we get? Oh. Oh, it's a... Wait a minute. For the Con Marshal. A new engine for the Con Marshal. I'm gonna pretend I'm excited about that. I don't really drive the Con Marshal. I mean, why would I drive the Con Marshal when I have the Scout 800? <laughs> but... I like getting upgrades. I'm just taking my truck boat out for a little float down the, uh, I don't know, a river in Carpathians area. Now, let's take out our drone and see where we have to go. Oh, one of them is right here. Looks like the only difficulty is going to be we have to get it from the back side. Let me rephrase that. We have to go around to the back of the island. And then over here, we have a couple other islands we have to get to. I just don't know how deep it is. And they have cliffs on one side, so we're gonna have to attack it from the sides without that. Do you see those red lines over there? Looks like an airdrop. We've discovered a new airdrop. You know we're gonna have to try to hit that. So here's a question. With a lift kit and a snorkel, could I have done this mission with the scouts? I've never tried to take a truck that's not recommended. I think it will let you. Engine off. But could it have done it? Oh, we have to do more fishies scanning. Is that what we're doing? I don't see any fish. Scan the second swamp area. Uh, the second swamp area? 
Oh, I failed. Wait, what am I supposed to look for? A huge pile of garbage in the swamp. Definitely not good for the natural balance of the region. So I'm looking for man-made effects. I feel like it should have given me a little bit more direction there. Luckily, I just pressed the pile of garbage. I did not cheat, by the way. I did not go to YouTube to find the answer. I know you don't believe me, but I'm telling the truth. Okay. Engine off. Park brake on. Start scanning. So I'm looking for sign of man, like trash. Like right there? Is that a log or trash? Can we hit the bucket? I'm going to try it right here. Come on, hit the bucket. <gasps> no! We're trying again. So there's one piece of trash. Do we have to get them both in one scan? Maybe. Where was the other one? Like right here? That's what we had to do. Wow, these are getting tricky. Two pieces of trash this time. The last area is just right over there. Still green. We're gonna drive straight there. Try not to run into the trees. I'm not a fan of the scanning. It should tell you what you're supposed to do. Like find two pieces of trash in one scan. And we made it to our final destination. Deliver supplies. Do I have the supplies? We just had to give them the hydro monitoring system. Look at that. Aww. We get a rock crawler kit. I don't know for what truck. 13,000, I'll take that. And we have a new outpost, gateway to the mountain labyrinths and an expanded parking module. The module I want is the drone module. I've heard so many people talking about that. I just haven't unlocked it yet. We're going to get our rewards, but we are going to continue because do you remember there was an airdrop right over here. So if we go this way, let's at least go and get that airdrop and see if there's any other trouble we can get into before we end this. If there's trouble to be found, I will find it. Or I'll make it, right? <laughs> yeah, if we go straight down, it might be okay. Are we going to flip it? I'm not ready to send it. Okay, Tez, I know I've said some things about you today, but can you please, please make it without flipping? I'm gonna take you nice and slowly. I'll go slowly. Just a little bit of gas. Don't belly out on me. Don't belly out on me. Yep, engine off. Let's see what we can get. We can get another jack screw. We're gonna take it. We are also going to, wait a minute. First off, let's fuel up. Use all our gas. And then we're gonna take the gas from the airdrop. We can hold a lot. We took all the spare parts and we also can hold the scrap metal. I don't know if we really need it, but we might be able to use it. Unpredictable weather. That is gonna be a rough climb unless, I think we can do this here. Let's go back. This is a climb right here. And I don't know if we have enough parts to finish this bridge, but if we don't, that will be an epic way to send it. And we might go and see what this is all about up here. I think we have enough parts. We just topped off with that airdrop and that might be plenty. I don't know if we're going to need more than normal because it's a large bridge. Let's find out. Oh no. <gasps> you gotta be kidding me. I'm just not having a good day with the Tuz. I made my bed of bad karma and now I'm lying in it. Well, let's deliver the supplies. I guess we'll do that first. It only takes 75 and we have plenty. 
Oh, I guess we can't jump it now. And now, let's see. Will I be able to use my winch? I don't think I can. No, it's because my engine's off, right? I don't have the right winch. We're gonna have to use a jack screw again. Let's lower the tire pressure, see if that helps. It did. Oh gosh. This is not the truck. This not, no, 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 no. This is not the truck to be taking on this bridge. It won't let me put an anchor here. I can't even move it. It's like stuck under the truck. I don't know if it's glitched or if it just won't let you put the anchor anywhere. There's a little bit of yellow down there. I should be able to place it, but I can't even move it. It's not doing anything. So the only thing I could do is attach my hitch. I don't think I want that tree, maybe that tree. And push myself. I don't know if this is a bad idea. It might be bad. Oh no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, you know what? That wasn't working. My winch was not long enough and it was just pulling me. Okay, well, we're just gonna try this. Dumb ways to die. Oh, but this is a picture. Is this not a picture? Time to place your bets. Can I make it up these uneven boulders with this top heavy oversized truck? and then drive it over that bridge, or will I tumble to my death? One false move and the rock is just gonna jettison me off. I think we might be okay. Oh gosh, that's awesome though, isn't it? It's a great view up here. Just don't look down. <laughs> nice and straight. Gosh, these rocks are so uneven. This is so scary. Park break. Is there anything we can use our winch on? Nothing. There is nothing. And I'm just going to double check. Can I use my anchor? No, my anchor will not move. You see it right here? It won't move. I don't think there's anything I could tie it to other than maybe down there. I paid for the mechanic, which is supposed to give me an enhanced radius for placing the anchor, but it's just not letting me do anything. So we're, we're just gonna have to do this very carefully. This is not good. Let's back it up a little bit. I don't know if I can get over that rock. No, 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 oh no. <laughs> I am stuck. There is nothing I can do. I can't use an anchor. I can't winch. I think we're going down. Everybody put your seatbelts on and brace for impact. I don't think there's any way I can get out of this pickle. <laughs> Look at this. So the real question is, do we want to go forwards or backwards? I think that's what happened to that guy. You see that little car down there? We were not meant to come up here in this big vehicle. I'm sure it's been done, but without my winch to tie off on and to help me, there is nothing I can do, and I am clearly not the driver to be taking this Tuz up here. So I think we are going to say goodbye here. I thank you for joining me on today's debacle of an expedition. <laughs> if you like expeditions and other sim and survival games, please consider subscribing. If you want to be extra nice, drop a like or a comment below. And now, now, we can end it because we are going to send it. Here we go. Hey, looky there, she landed on her feet. <laughs>